<laughs> Whoa. Wow, that's your diaper. <laughs> yeah, that's your diaper, but it has Ninja Turtles on it. Isn't that cool? Good morning, everybody. Callum and I are sitting on the floor playing and reading, and he's playing with this, with my exercise ball. I woke up this morning in kind of a kind of a bad mood. There's just so much sitting in my brain right now. I'm I haven't talked about any of this in the vlog, but um and I I can't share, I can't really talk more than what I'm about to say. But long story short is we don't intend on staying in this apartment for for much longer. Uh, the problem is we don't have another place to live. So it's not like our lease is running out or anything, but as you guys may have noticed, it's just, it's very, um, we, we've outgrown it. We've outgrown the space. And um, we, we really, really, really want outside space for Callum. This apartment was wonderful when we were just starting out as newlyweds. And it was wonderful bringing Callum home to this apartment, and it, it was it provided the calm and the quiet that we both needed. It, it's been a happy place for us, but we're just to the point now where we need more. He's he's a toddler, a very active and wild one, and we really, really, really need. He's back here talking. He's telling everything in the book. Just the the circumstances have changed and so we were looking at at other options but of course it's it's a stress to find a new home especially here in Germany because houses are so expensive it is so expensive here I'm in that phase where I really so I so badly want to want to nest and, and put Linnea's clothes away and kind of start organizing my life and it's like the circumstances of our life right now are conflicting with what Mother Nature intends for an expectant mother. We're just sort of overwhelmed. I, I am at least. I think Roman's much more calm about it, but he's also not nesting and he's not he's not the one that's pregnant, so I'm a little stressed. And then yesterday's appointment, I was so just I was hoping and praying so badly that Linnea would, would be turned around and <sighs> I'm a little, I've never been in this situation before because while my pregnancy was very challenging with Callum, he was head down by like 27 weeks <laughs> and he stayed head down and, and that, that aspect of everything was very easy and I just, <clears throat> I shouldn't have had the expectation that it would be normal or something this way this time around. but. I didn't expect that complication. We're a little confused because if you look in yesterday's vlog, she says that um, the head is up, the head is up, and the butt kind of goes along the side. Like so, she, so in my opinion, she's kind of laying more transverse. And when she was moving the ultrasound wand and she was like poking at it, I could I could feel that she was more transverse, which means sideways. But in her notes, she wrote that she's head up, butt down. So I'm a little confused about what that means. I'm just sort of nervous thinking about the fact that by my next appointment, if she's not turned, then I have to schedule a C-section. I'm a little bummed because I just sort of feel like I don't have very many choices if, if she stays in her current position. And Roman's like, yeah, well, you know, you still have three weeks. Yeah, well, that's also what the doctor said. The last time, oh, you still have two months and nothing really changed. So it's, I, I feel like I'm, I, I'm more of a realistic person when it comes to these sorts of things. Like I, I have to prepare myself for the reality of, of all options and all situations when it pertains to my family because surprises make me very uncomfortable and make me very nervous. So I'm kind of right now dealing with the surprise and the shock and um and then and then i feel like okay i can make a plan and then and then i know that i've done everything that i can do 
but I also have to be very aware that the reality for this pregnancy is that it very well might end up in a C-section and a planned one and a scheduled one and not the way that Callum was born and not not the experience that I had with him and a part of me is really sad about that because measure measurement wise she would be a great baby to to deliver she's not like crazy big I mean she's a great size she's healthy I want the experience of being able to hold her and look into her eyes and just I want that experience like I had with Callum I'm I'm coping and I'm dealing with things and I'm just sort of in a in a weird mood just because everything is so unsettled and and everything is so unclear and the only thing I know is that I guess you're not even guaranteed this but the only thing I know is that I'm I'm going to have a baby in less than two months I'm going to have a baby and um, but I don't know where we're going to live <laughs> I don't know I don't know anything else that's not a feeling I like <laughs> Oh, yeah. yeah. You want to build a really cool car? Yeah, mommy will build the red one. I want. All right. I want. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. He got that from me. Yay. Good job. <laughs> I like the cars that you've built. Wow. Wow! Ta-da! Ta-da! <laughs> wow! Wow! <laughs> I love watching him just create little things like this. It just sort of helps me get into his brain a little bit, like where his head is <laughs> currently. I just love it. I love watching his little brain at work. Callum's got a little cough. Yeah. Come here. You okay? Okay, going up. Okay, now come sit. 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 Whee! Good job. That's fun. Sticks are fun. The original wooden toy. Yeah. <laughs> You're a pro at it now, huh? Again, I think he's done this like 20,000 times. <laughs> so fun. And go. Good job, big boy. Say we. Yeah. You want out? Okay. I went outside with Callum thinking that I would be in a better mood, but I just, I'm not, so I don't know what's happening. This is kind of how I felt a lot during Callum's pregnancy, just, I don't want to use the D word, but it just feels like depression. I just feel really, um, really, really, really down, and I don't want to lie, like, I don't want to lie to you guys and pretend like everything is great, because right now it's not. Um... Definitely, definitely starting to struggle a bit with, with everything. Um, I think the chaos of our lives right now, it doesn't, it doesn't help, but um, just trying to healthily process things as best as possible. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog. I, I'm sorry for such a down vlog, but some days are just not, not great. Other days are wonderful, but um, that's life, and I just, I need to be honest about, about what I'm feeling and how I'm feeling, and I just, I don't want to lie to you guys, so I hope that you all are having a wonderful day. That makes me happy. 
hoping that you all have a good day and um, let's hope for a better day tomorrow. So thanks for watching.